Hello everybody, today I'm going to do a review of a new monthly subscription box called Stocking Box. As a lot of you are probably already aware, there are several monthly subscription boxes out on the market. Um, a lot of beauty bloggers will be aware of the Glossy Box and Birch Box. However, Stocking Box is different in as much as it features a collection of products from independent businesses who are based in the UK and it's just a great way for these independent businesses and crafters to really showcase their work, show off what they're all about and get their names out into the public really. Um, so without further ado, let's get into the review. So each month the team at Stocking Box will post a parcel containing a mixture of handmade goodies from small crafters and small businesses across the UK and each month you will get a leaflet with information about what you've received in that particular month's box as well as information about each business that has contributed to that particular month's box as well and it contains their Etsy store information and their website information so if you like what you see in that particular month's box then you can go ahead and check out their websites for yourself and if you like what you see then you can perhaps maybe make some more purchases from the businesses directly for the June 2015 box there were a set of notebooks by a designer called Kate Marsden and she goes by the name of Made by Mrs M and she has two, notebook, two notebooks in the box. The first one is small enough to pop in your bag and both notebooks are plain paper so no lines but the paper itself is really thick, good quality so you know that when you're writing you know that your pen isn't going to go through the paper. Um, so that's a good duo from Made by Mrs M. Next up we have a Ziggy Stardust badge from a designer called Alfie Wynn and the craftsmanship that's gone into this is fantastic. I mean you just have to look at the the artwork and the shading that's gone on in the hair and around the face. The colours are really vivid and it's just a really nice well designed badge. Um, I probably wouldn't wear it myself um, however I think just for the craftsmanship that's gone into this piece I think it's absolutely fantastic. So yes that's one by Alfie Wynn. Next up we have an item which is probably my favourite out of the whole June stocking box collection and these are Worry Cats by a company called My Art and Soul and inside the matchbox you get a glass jar with a cork stopper and inside the jar hopefully you can see there are lots of mini cats and cat accessories so there are socks fish bones cartons of milk things like that so cats and cat accessories and the idea behind this is that you if you're worried about anything or have anxiety about something you tell your problems to the cat in the glass jar and the idea is that you then hide this away somewhere and the cats will look after your worries for you so you then don't need to worry anymore so I really like that idea I think it's it's really nice and there's a little uh, piece of information here just to explain what the worry cats are all about it says share all your troubles with these little cats pop them in their bottle and they will worry in your place so I really like that idea I just think it's quite sweet if you're a worrier like me and you love cats then this will be right up your street and then we have a set of temporary tattoos from Kate Broughton and these are exquisite. They are hand drawn, hand coloured. Just look at the detail on these. They are so realistic and you can tell that she's really studied her craft. Um, we have a variety of birds here and these are, as I said, temporary tattoos. Um, 
again I probably wouldn't wear these myself so I will find another use for them but I have gone on to Kate's website and I've seen that she has some black cat nail decals which I love my nail art so they look fantastic I think I'm gonna have to make a sneaky purchase of the cat nail stickers um, but yes as you can see these uh, temporary tattoos are fantastic just look at the colors absolutely brilliant next up we have a wish bracelet from Ren's handiwork and the creator behind Ren's handiwork is a lady called Lauren Pike and she started her business um, after her two life passions which are crafting and recycling so the idea behind the anchor wish bracelet is that you make a wish tie the anchor around your wrist and when the cord of the bracelet breaks your wish will be granted so i just think that's a really cute idea as well similar to the worry cats um, it's just a really nice idea great for presents really for people um, also the fact that it's so flat and light means that you could probably get away with writing a letter and popping this inside a, just a normal envelope really so great idea for presents if you don't want to worry about postage or shipping costs because of weight and size so this is a fantastic idea and then what you do is you write on the piece of card what your wish is pop the bracelet on and in theory when the cord this sort of twine wears off then your wish will be granted Next up we have some letter crayons from a company called Diddy Colours and this is a great product for anybody with children. Um, it, these are quite thick, uh, hopefully you can see through the packaging, but they're quite thick chunky crayons with initials on. I've got an S for Sierra and B for Bravo here in orange and a sort of an aubergine purple really showing up quite dark on camera though um, but yes these are fantastic crayons they are hand poured and are made with 100% non-toxic wax so great for children and I think it's just a great way to get children used to the alphabet if you've got younger children um, maybe you could get them some crayons that spell out their name and then they can have fun drawing pictures and colouring with their crayons things like that um, so that's a really nice idea um, in the information that Diddy Colours have provided they said that they also think these can make perfect gifts for party or wedding favours so you could have the first initial of both the bride and groom as a wedding favour on the table so that would look really nice and you could also have them in the colours of your wedding theme as well so that's a nice touch and then finally we have these scent wax melts from a company called Flamingo Candles and you actually got two of these in the June 2015 stocking box however I've already used one of them and this one is the Mojito Cocktail Scent Melt and as you can see it's got the company's logo on the front the silhouette of the Flamingo and they are just wrapped in different colour tissue paper the scent from these even before they were melted just in the cardboard box was very strong so I had high hopes for these and once I popped them into the melter I have a I have a candle wax melter that you pop a tea light underneath you can get ones that are electric as well um, but however once I that had been lit and once this had melted the scent just diffused throughout the room it lasted a long time and the scent throw was fantastic there's nothing worse than having a scented candle or scented wax melt that you just can't smell um, but the flamingo candle ones are absolutely brilliant so that was what I received in the June 2015 stocking box. The way stocking box works is that it's a first come first serve basis. So if you want to guarantee yourself a box every month you need to subscribe. 
uh, just to guarantee that you do get sent the item. You can subscribe for three, six or 12 months in advance. Um, and you can also just get the a one-off box for a treat. Um, that one-off box costs £22. However, ongoing subscriptions are £20 and you get an extra 5% off subscriptions if you pay in advance. So I think that's an absolutely fantastic idea and a little mm. something different than the usual makeup monthly subscription boxes. As I said, I think this is a fantastic way for small businesses and to support support small businesses. It's a great way for them to showcase what they have to offer and get their names out there. So hopefully you would have found this video helpful and let me know if you do decide to subscribe to Stocking Box. See you next time everyone. Bye!